Welcome to the Quest Digest where I take you through all the weekly Oculus Quest news in under 5 minutes. If you do like this video remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell as this really helps me create more content like this in the future. So let's jump in. It's showtime. We start the news this week with some betas you can help playtest, the first being Contractors. Now this is a team based competitive multiplayer shooter game that you can be part of right now by joining their Discord channel, I'll leave the link in the description below, going to Quest Alpha Sign Up in the left hand column and DMing the user Casey Monkey to request access to the beta. Now this game is already out on Steam for other headsets and it has an overall very positive rating. It boasts realistic weapon handling, objective based game modes, customizable weapon loadouts and a shooting range with tons of activities. So give the beta a go and let me know what you think in the comments below. Next up we have the Facebook Horizon beta application. Now you sign up and based on your responses you may or may not get chosen for the beta. Facebook Horizon seems a bit like Rec Room in that you can interact online with many different people and do many different things, paint, form teams to compete in action packed games, join communities and so on. And finally to finish off our beta testing portion of the news we have Shadow which is a cloud based gaming platform. It's a virtual computer you can connect remotely to your quest. The beta will begin April 1st, you can join it by going to the Discord channel and following what I'm doing on screen just here. But you will need to fulfill certain requirements such as having a 100 megabit per second download and 20 megabit per second upload speed, which unfortunately does not make me eligible, but you might have a better connection than I do and want to give this one a go. Now speaking of betas, I mentioned in the previous news video that there was going to be a port made for the quest for Doom and Dr. Beef has now just released some alpha footage of this port coming to the quest this year. Let's hope this footage is a sign that it's coming soon. I'll leave a link to the full video in the description below. And what you're seeing here is some gameplay footage from a game called Extreme Escapes. It's a puzzle game for the quest looks very visually impressive and I think it might be a bit like I expect you to die a sort of escape room experience on the quest I'm not sure about the ETA for this one there's no concrete details as of yet but this game looks like one to watch out for next up we have laser storm which is a multiplayer shared space shooting game reminds me of a co-op version of space pirate trainer and looks like a really fun multiplayer experience so let's take a look now you should get the chance to play this game soon as a demo is supposed to drop in the sidequest store this very week in other news facebook's ai division has found a way to utilize what's called super resolution along with uh, computer algorithms to improve the Oculus Quest performance. To give you an idea of what this does and what this looks like, take a look at this photo here. You can see it before and after the super resolution has been applied. And this can provide up to 67% more rendering power on the Quest with just a simple software update. Now it's all very experimental in early days at the moment, but let's hope we see this as part of a software update in the future. And we finish off by taking a look at SideQuest. So we saw a few titles released this week. We see Death Cubes VR where you have to shoot the cubes before they reach the wall. Every time a cube hits the wall, the wall gets a little bit closer. And if the wall hits you, then it's game over. Next up we have Duck Hunt or Ducker, which combines Duck Hunt, a classic Nintendo shooting game with Audica to creating a Duck Hunt rhythm game mashup. Next we have City Avenger, which you have to play using the controller. It's a bit like Grand Theft Auto, with plenty of guns to use, vehicles to drive and things to destroy. This one will set you back $7.99 US dollars, which is £6.50 in English money or 13 Australian dollars. 
Anyway, that's it from me. If you're willing to support me, remember to subscribe. It really helps. And I'll catch you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Woo.